What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to our Season 5, Week 4 battle of the UPA against Ben and the Baltimore Orioles. We are ready to challenge here. We are about to click challenge, and uh, you guys should have already seen the team builder. I'm feeling confident in this game, a lot more confident than I was in the first two weeks, so uh, I'm really curious for the big reveal. One thing I didn't cover in the team builder was that Articuno gets freeze dry, which is extremely powerful against Seismitoad. It knocks it out from full, so we're going to have to be very careful around that. Obviously, he can threaten us out with that, so we're going to click challenge here and we're going to get into it, guys. Let's, uh, let's see what kind of team he brought. Ready to go, just has to click accept on the challenge, and I'm really curious, we have our uh, handy dandy calculator right here, and uh, we have all our sets put in, let me actually just get rid of this, and they're online, and waiting for him to accept, there we go, alright, so we, uh, not the exact team that I expected, but uh, definitely a lot of the mons that I did see coming, um, he brought the intimidate core, which is really good for primate, so I think I might just lead with it, to be perfectly honest. Uh, he could have banded Ch Chinchino though, which can put in a lot of work, so... Uh, I'm curious, let's see. He's definitely got Bullet Seed on that thing. Gotta pick my lead carefully here. Uh, Weavile doesn't outspeed banded Chinchino, actually. Which is a little bit of a problem, I probably should have taken that into account. Oh well, alright, well we'll deal with it. Uh, if it goes for Bullet Seed on our, um, on our Deancey, we'll be okay. We have Protect, so we'll be able to see that that's what it locked itself into. Um, very tempted to lead with our Entei here, to be perfectly honest with you. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, we'll wait until he picks his lead. It's probably a lot of a di much a different team than what he was expecting. Um, got very curious sets on, on this week. And Deancey can definitely put in a lot of work. I really didn't think that Chinchino was uh, the Cinchino. I keep saying Chinchino. I didn't think the Cinchino was going to come, so... Alright, so he leads with Lando against our Entei. Obviously not the best matchup for us. We could technically have the... Um, we could just U-turn here. We could technically have the... Uh, the Shooka Berry again. So... Hmm. What's his best matchup against my Seismitoad? Probably be his, Chinch his Cinchino or his Slowbro. His Slow King, excuse me. Alright, so... Let's go out into... Johnson here. I probably should have led with that. Should have stuck to my initial game plan, but yeah, let's do that. Let's see what he wants to go for. We don't we don't have any hazard removal, so he goes for the knockoff. It does a lot of damage. I actually want to calc that and see if it's banded. I think it is. Size Mitoad. Where's Johnson? Versus Landorus. If that's banded, that's amazing for us. Hold on. Uh, oh, you. Let's see. Choice scarf knockoff damage. That's more than that. Yeah, he did 44 to us. So he's definitely choice banded. Choice banded. Uh, but probably with an adamant... No, hold on. Why did that do so much? What is he? Hold on. This is choice scarf max attack. So maybe he's not max attack. Maybe he's hidden power... No, hold on. Yeah, maybe he's just, like, choice banded without the max attack. That would make sense. Alright. Well, you know what? Let's get a Brox here. And uh, he goes into his Slow King, which obviously can have the Grass Knot for us. I'm curious to know if that actually takes me out from the range I'm at. Slow King. Defensive. Grass Knot. Give me Grass Knot. Let's see if it takes it out. With the Rindleberry, it does not. But I don't want to waste this thing just yet. His only form of hazard removal is the fortress, and what's my switch to this thing if it goes for Grass Knot? I guess I can go into... I need to keep my Primate because it actually beats the Lando with Ice Punch when it gives me the plus one, so... Huh. Do I want to just pivot into it? He's not going to go for a Scald right here. He's going for... I want to see how much this does to Primate. Probably not a lot. It's not very heavy. Primate, Jake... Yeah, Grass Knot only does 20 to 24, so I'm definitely getting out of here, and I'm just going to go into our um, into our Primate, and he doesn't have a very good switch because then we get a U-turn off, and we get to go into Entei or whatever else, so it's looking good, it's looking good, let's see. Goes to the Grass Knot, doesn't do much at all, and uh, he doesn't seem to be Life Orb, he's not carrying any kind of item like that, and we get a free U-turn here, and we get to go into our Latias, potentially, on the Scald. We're going to see how much it does. Get to calc that as well. 
If he has the Shadow Ball after a Calm Mind, he won't be doing very much to us. And we already know that we potentially outspeed his Lando. I don't think he's... I don't think he's fully invested in attack for some reason. Because that knockoff definitely did more than it should have. Uh, I have to recalc that. That's such a weird calc. Why did it do that? Landorus offensive with knockoff. Knockoff does. Okay. Okay, so he's max attack adamant. That's what that means. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good to know, actually. Okay, so he's not necessarily banded, but he's definitely scarfed. I think he got a max roll on that because it did 45. Uh, it did 44. So he got a very, very high roll on the knockoff, but that's a good thing. It's very good. So <laughs> the fact that he's not scarfed is amazing because then we can just fire off ice punches later, which is awesome. Uh, and we can keep U-turning on this thing, so. I don't know what he's going to go into here. Maybe the Fortress, maybe it's Rocky Helmet, which would suck because we get some residual damage and he can set up his rocks. But if he lets an Entei for free, like, that's just, that's amazing for us. He goes into his Gallade. And I'm going to get the U-turn off here, which is actually going to do 30%, which is really good. And I can go out into my Mega Deancey here. I just want to see, this thing gets Iron Head, right? Um, we need to go to the Team Builder for that. Let's see. I didn't prep necessarily for the Gallade. Gallade, do you get Iron Head? Iron. Oh, no, you do not. Do you get any kind of steel move? Only Hidden Power Steel. Okay. So... We'll go into our Deancey here. I don't necessarily want to go into Entei on this thing because it could be Scarf. And again, he does he has nothing to touch us with. I want to see how much a close combat does from Gallade. Gallade. Let's just assume it's choice banded. So are you Swords Dance? Jolly with close combat uh, to Deancey. Deancey, Mega. OU offensive. Close combat can knock us out with a life orb. So I'm gonna protect right here. I gotta make sure this is clicked and we're gonna protect. And he's gonna get a free switch into his fortress right here. Now, if he wants to rapid spin, he loses his fortress afterwards because I can go in for hidden power fire into moon blast. So let's just see. Fortress, I just wanna see if this thing is running max spadef if it takes this. Let's say calm nature, whatever it is. Uh, definitely increases his speed F versus our, uh, wait, this isn't the right Deancey set. Deancey, uh, where is Jules? Where is Jules? There's Jules. But this is the non-Mega Evolved version. So it definitely takes, uh, hold on a second. Can we actually take Gyro Ball? If he doesn't have any attack investment? Because we're like almost standard Deancey, right? Uh, but we're a lot faster, so probably not. Yeah, we die. Okay, so I think I have to go into Entei here. Um, yeah, I don't really have a choice. Uh, I mean, he gets a free rapid spin if I switch out here, but I have to do it. I can't allow his uh, his fortress to just uh, to just nuke us. So uh, go into that. Uh, this thing doesn't get counter, right? <laughs> Please don't tell me it gets counter. Let's see, fortress. Uh, do you get counter? You do. Ooh, okay. All right, that's a problem. Um, I'm, I'm so tempted to just go for the E-Speed here, just to break this thing sturdy and actually test it out. At the same time, ooh, this could be a free switch for Latios, potentially. Do I really want to lose this this early to a potential counter? Would he be really, would he really be rocking that? Um. I'm just gonna fire off a Sacred Fire. You know what? Let's do it. Potentially get a burn on something. If he has the counter, then he has the counter. What can I tell you? Uh, it does bring him down to sturdy though, and he is leftovers, so we'll be able to bring back our, in our Deancey and just fire off a Moon Blast after. His um, his Slow King can wall our Deancey a little bit, but it can only hit back with Scald, and we can switch into Seismitoad every time. I'm sure he's carrying the Grass Knot, but because of the Rindle Berry, we'll be able to take it a little bit better. So definitely just going for the Fire move right here. You could have counter, guys. Could lose Geo right here. It'd be very unfortunate, but um, his Lando is still at full, so I would love to burn that thing if he brings it in. 
He can't switch in his Manectric, it dies. He can't switch in his Chinchino or his Gallade because we weakened it. He can bring in his Slowking, but we could potentially burn hit. And he didn't bring any of his Heal Bellers. Uh, well, his only Heal Beller being Lantern, so... So looking pretty good. We're already at 10 minutes. Wow, this is taking a while with all those calcs. Uh, and this is turn 6, so... Uh, quite a few people here. Uh, who's here? Who's here? Uh, Swampy, my weak one opponent. Uh, Mens is here too. Thanks for being here, Mens. And uh, Lucas just joined, actually. He's gonna go into his Slowking right here. We're gonna get off a big Sacred Fire and burn his Slowking, which is awesome. It does have Regenerator, so we'll be able to work that off. But uh, the burn is nice. I have to say the burn is nice. And I could potentially go for a Stone Edge here. We were ready to lose our Entei to a counter, so I just have to calc this. Slow King. How much should we have done? Let's say it's defensive versus Entei. Uh, Geo. Sacred Fire. Okay, so it's not defensive. Because that did 32. Yeah, he's not defensive. He's specially defensive. So take that away. Is that right? Yeah, that's that looks correct. And then how much does a Stone Edge do? 39 to 47, so he's not in range yet. But does his Skull take me out? No. Unless he has a ton, a ton of special attack investment, he can't take me out. So I'm just going to go for the Edge right here. And he might want to take this as an opportunity to actually switch out uh, and get his Regenerator, predicting my Seismitoad to come in, which would be a good play, but I'm going to stay in and Stone Edge him anyway. Just because we can weaken this thing down to the point where it can't switch in too freely anymore. And we can get back up our rocks too, which is nice. He's going to switch into his Lando. Uh, again, we just get off a of Stone Edge right here. That did 35 after the Intimidate. So we know he's not defensive at all. Landorus. T, offensive. Stone Edge does 30 to 36. Yeah, okay. So he's definitely offensive. He has no defensive investment. And I'm really tempted to just go into... I could just fire off a Sacred Fire as well. Again, we were ready to lose this thing, so... The thing is, if he locks himself in Earthquake, Latias comes in for free and sets up a sub, and then I can start nuking things with Calm Mines. So, I have to be careful of the Chinchino, because if it is banded, it could uh, it can break our sub, uh, and it can also uh, hit us three times... Four, uh, four to five times. Uh, no, four, three to four, excuse me. Uh, through the sub, so I have to be careful with that if it's got Tail Slap and Choice Band and it's, um, it's Skill Link, so gotta be careful with that. Now, again, uh, I can lose this right here and then go into, well, he's, he has the knockoff, right? So that's dangerous. Um, what do I want to switch in here? Do I want to switch anything in is the question. Not really. <laughs> I don't really want to go into anything. Um, when we calc, did we calc Adamant? Okay, so he hits 264. What if he's max speed? He hits 281, which means we still outspeed him, so we could potentially burn him with a Sacred. Uh, he actually goes for U-turn right here, predicting us to switch. We're gonna get off another Sacred Fire on something on his team. And uh, our Entei's still alive, guys. After three turns of potentially uh, going down, we are still in this. And uh, he goes into his Slow King. We take the Life Orb damage. He is now at 51. He can take the Stone Edge, though. Now he can definitely take it. Uh, I kind of want to switch into uh, Johnson here. Getting up rocks isn't super crucial because we've already been able to weaken his team a lot. His Lando doesn't have uh, residual recovery, neither does his Gallade, and we've burned the Slow King. So this is looking pretty good. I'm feeling confident switching into Seismitoad here because I don't feel like he'll go for Grass Knot in front of an Entei. I've just stayed in three times potentially when he could have killed me. So <laughs> I don't think he, he thinks that I want to switch out this time. I'm going into Seismitoad and getting the um, the recovery from the Scald. Or the Surf. There we go. Okay, cool. And I'm curious. Does an Earth, pow uh, an Earth Power take out a specially defensive Slow King? Slow King. Let's see. 252. Let's give you Calm. Calm. And let's give you a... He didn't bring the Articuno, which is nice. Which means this thing is the only thing that can actually hurt me. Um, size, method. Uh, where's our set? Johnson. Um, Earth Power does not even put him in range of the burn, but we are faster. Uh, I don't know why everybody's going off, um, in the chat. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks here, because if he does stay in, then he gives me the chance to knock him out the next turn with the, uh, with the Earth Power potentially. Or I could have the EQ, so he has to be fearing that. And we can just go for uh, for rocks right here. 
And if he brings in the Chinchino, then I might let I might let this thing go down. But we're still at six Pokemon, which is really nice. We've been able to weaken his team immensely. His uh, Slow King now comes back in at 69, and it goes down to 57. So. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good, guys. Uh, he brings in his Fortress on us. Uh, we go for the Stealth Rocks, and we can fire off a Free Scald here and uh, deal with this thing relatively well. He doesn't switch into Scald well with anything on his team. So, And we still have a Rindo Berry, which is really nice. It doesn't look like his Slowking can actually touch us. Um, and we're going to fire off a Scald right here. If his Slowking comes back in with Scald, Stealth Rocks, and Burn, he'll be back to where he was before, so he's not gaining anything by doing that. And, uh, Sand with Verlis. <laughs> Alright, somebody interesting just joined. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, things are looking up, man. Things are looking up. Especially that we got the heal on the Seismitoad. Now his knockoff damage isn't a big deal. He did get rid of our Rindo, actually. I just noticed that. I just thought about that. Okay, so we can't take grass moves. Um, yeah, that went, that went away turn one. <laughs> and, uh, he chooses to switch into his Lando on a Scald. So, goodbye. Yep! There goes the Landorus. Alright, we are in. We are in. He has lost his Landorus T. And uh, things are looking good, guys. He now lo no longer has the knockoff pressure, and Latias can have a lot of fun with the team. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is looking good. Whew! I've never been this happy, like, that the Landorus went down. This is so good. Why would you switch in your Lando to a Skull that you know is probably coming, like... I don't, I don't understand that fully, but uh, Deancey just puts in a ton of work now. Deancey is crazy, uh, especially that we burn the uh, the Slowking. Like it can't switch into two Moonblasts. We have Rocks up. His Fortress is still there, but like uh, he seems to be get, getting annoyed by the people in the chat. <laughs> so I'm not paying attention to it really. I just, I'm only looking at what he says. So um, I thought you would switch into Entei. Nope. Didn't want to switch into Entei because um, <laughs> there was no point really in switching into Entei. Yes, it puts on pressure onto his fortress, but he brings in his Chinchino finally. Uh, I'm fully expecting the Bullet Seed, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I mean, I could go into Entei here and uh, and eat it up. Let me just see if it's a Life Orb Chinchino. Are you Physical Attacker with the Choice Band, Bullet Seed onto our Entei? Curious. Geo, how well do you take it? Only 30%. Hmm. Alright, we'll do it. We'll switch into uh, Entei here. If he goes for the Tail Slap, it's fine. Uh, that means we can just get a free switch into Deancey and just knock something out. Uh, now with the uh, Rocks up, his uh, Fortress is no longer in Sturdy. He goes for the Bullet Seed, we resist it, and we take absolutely no damage from this. As you can see, that means he's probably not banded. Is he Life Orb? No, he's not. We're taking a lot less from that than I, than I would have expected. We took 3% on every hit. So, he's definitely faster than us. I can just E-Speed and weaken this thing, which is really nice. And then I can bring in uh, Weavile and Ice Shard it. I'm curious to know how much an E-Speed actually does. We'll see right now. And he doesn't have a good switch into this E-Speed right now. So I think he actually, he actually has to stay in. And then we get rid of his fast, his current fastest Mon, because he still has the Mega Manectric in the back. But things are looking good, guys. We might lose our Entei. But uh, Seismitoad got a kill, man. That's so awesome. Thank you, Johnson. You did it! Geo, you might have to go down here, I'm sorry man. Uh, I know for a fact that's not banded. Uh, that's definitely not banded damage. If we take off the choice band, um, his bullet seed is only doing 17 to 19, which it actually did even less. So, oh no, 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 it did about 19. Yeah, okay. So, which means he's potentially choice scarfed. We have to watch out for that. He could be choice scarfed. And we can just go for an E-Speed here. His only switch into E-Speed right now, because we burned the Slow King, is his Fortress. And then we get to go for Sacred Fire again. And he doesn't have his Intimidator anymore. Which is crazy, guys. We got rid of his Landorus. Like, that was literally the biggest threat to our entire team. The Mega Manectric is still a problem. But because of Latias' set and the fact that it has Calm Mind, I can take it on. And this is just looking amazing right now. <laughs> I'm really happy. We might be two and two, guys. I'm not going to speak too soon because I've been up before and things have gone sour. So I'm just going to crit the Cinchino. Oh my god, that mattered. Wow. Sorry. Oh my god. Justice.
<laughs> After all those crits, week one, week two, man. Uh, I know we got a little bit of hacks in our favor last uh, last week, but this is just like I'm not. I'm happy we crit. At the same time, I'm kind of disappointed at the same time because it's unfortunate for him. It really is. But there's nothing I can do about that. I don't control this program. <laughs> I'm not the one that programs it, so. That's, uh, that's pretty much gonna be it, guys. Uh, I think, uh, I, I don't think he has any more recourse anymore. I don't think he has another option at this point. Um, if he goes into Slow King, I'm just gonna stay in. And take out a kill. And take out a kill. It did what it needed to do. Uh, it took out probably the biggest threat to us. Uh, on his entire team being Sinchino. The fact that it wasn't banded mean, meant that it could switch up moves and that Deancey would have trouble dealing with it. So really, really glad that that thing is gone. And now we just need to deal with the rest of his team, which should be relatively easy. I might actually keep our Entei alive, depending. Uh, I'll think about it because we are at lower than 25%, which means we do not come in on rocks. So if he brings in, um, brings in his Manectric, interesting. Obviously right now it's the only thing that potentially outspeeds me because if his Gallade's not Scarf, then I do outspeed him. So it's a good play. Um, I can't switch directly into Primeape though. That's a bad play. That's an extremely bad play. So I think I just get off E-Speed damage here. Despite the Intimidate. Uh, his Hidden Power of Grass, if he's modest, now kills... Johnson. So yeah, I think I just e-speed here and put more damage on this thing. Putting it in range of neutral psychic from Latias. I believe after the Intimidate we should do a lot to this thing. We are life orb, so Entei put in a lot of work, man. I'm really, really happy with Entei. We got Skull, we got the uh, Sacred Fire burn. Uh, we were able to knock out the Sinchino and now he's going to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of consolation damage on this Manectric. He won't be around for the end of the battle, but this is, uh, this is good. He might want to switch out here, like go into his fortress and then pivot, uh, into his slow king, but I didn't think he would. He gets the intimidate off. We're going to e-speed this thing. It's only going to do 31%, unfortunately. He is going to go for the thunderbolt right here, and now he's faster than our whole team, but we have the Latias, and the Latias puts in work right now because oh, rocks are up. Rocks are up, and rocks are not necessarily going to stay up because he can switch in his fortress right now. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Psychic right here. He's gonna go for the Volt Switch. That does absolutely nothing because we have a lot of HP investment. He could go into his Fortress, but I'm gonna just set up a sub on that thing. I'm just gonna set up a sub, and I actually want to see if his Gyro Ball can take us out. Fortress. I'd never ended up calking this uh, against Latias. Uh, Clara. Gyro Ball cannot break our sub, guys. It can't break our sub, guys. Oh, man. I think we're going to win with Latias. I think we're going to give Latias four kills. Right here, right now, guys. He went for a Volt Switch, which might be indicating that he doesn't even have the HP Ice. And that he can't deal with this. Which is amazing. We'll be able to get up a sub on his, um, on his Fortress. And then just go for Call Mines and Call Mine sweep him. Like... <laughs> Oh, this went so well. I'm so glad. Like, guys, honestly, after prepping for the NBA, I've been uh, doing some uh, some prep testing with uh, one of the guys in the NBA, and he's really been helping me out, and he made me realize that my team is extremely offensive in that league, and that I should be running it that way. It's one of the most offensive teams in the entire league. It's not balanced. It's not stall. So, uh, And we built a pretty solid team together for my week uh, one matchup. It looks really, really good, and... It kind of functions a lot like this one this week. We're going to get off a of Psychic here. It's not going to do much to this thing, but look how much that actually does. Like, that's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm just going to go for the sub right here. He sees Leftover, so he might assume Substitute. But I don't think there's anything he can do about it minus Exploding. So, this is looking pretty good. We're going to go for the sub. He's going to go for the Rapid Spin. He's going to get rid of the rocks for I don't know what reason, but we're going to be able to call Mind up right here. And the only thing he can do is actually explode on us. And uh, I don't think any move that Gallade can go for can knock us out. And we're faster than Gallade anyway, unless he's Scarf. So I'm really thinking that Gallade can't knock us out. Let's actually check if Gallade gets any Dark or Ghost moves. Uh, or Ice. He gets Ice Punch, right? Uh, are you Gallade? Gets Ice Punch. Let's calc that on our Latias. Uh, Gallade, if he's Scarfed. 
Let's say, are, um, are you Swords Dance? Jolly. Uh, give me... Give me Ice Punch. How much does it do? Ice Punch. 52 to 63. He doesn't knock us out. We go for a Calm Mind right here. As he goes for Stealth Rocks, which is perfectly fine. I don't know what he's trying to set up for, exactly. Um, but I'm just going to... I think I knock out everything on his team at this point. Gallade should go down to a Shadow Ball at plus one. Uh, it looks like it does. At plus one Spadef. Yeah, just give me Shadow Sneak. Give me Bandage Shadow Sneak. Choice. Whoops, not the right thing. Choice, Banded, Shadow Sneak does 29 to 35 yeah it's nothing i'm just gonna start firing off shadow balls at this point uh it looks like his fortress didn't have counter after all so well, i mean it still could but is he explosion because if he's not he's not going to be able to break our sub and now we just get a free shadow ball off so i'm pretty sure this is this thing is just going to sweep him now we only lost one pokemon if we can win 5-0 this is crazy he goes for the gyro ball our sub fades but i think that's because of the rapid spin damage Unless he's attack invested. I'm not sure if I want to... Forest. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to test test the waters on that, because then that could put me in range of a Choice Scarf Ice Punch. And I could lose him on for no reason. So, Gyro Ball... Gyro Ball does 18 to 20... Uh, how much does Rapid Spin do? Okay, so he would have needed a low roll on the Rapid Spin, or any roll on the Rapid Spin, plus a high roll on the Gyro Ball if he's not attack invested. If he has, like, let's say 76 attack... Uh, let's see, 76 attack. Can he break our sub? It's very hard for him to break our sub, guys. It's extremely hard. Actually, hold on. Give this thing zero IVs. Okay. Well, now it's a little bit easier. That makes more sense. Shadow Ball did 45. Should be able to pick up the knockout here as it does. And now we're sitting with a 93% Latias. Calm Mind up. And he can't do anything about it <laughs> right now. This is looking uh, this is looking like a 5-0, guys. I'm, I'm, I know this has been long. It's been 27 minutes. But I really wanted to calc every single thing to make sure everything was in place. And that I, was, uh, I had my calcs right and everything sounded okay. And it looks to be the case, so... I think we just had a rough start with the first two weeks. I think if Keldia wouldn't have crit us with the Hydro Pump, we would have taken that game with Ice Shard from Weavile. And, uh, of course, we got hacks in that game, too. We got the Icicle Crash, so it's completely fair. We got the flinch on that, on the uh, on the Togetic that was about to go for Thunder Wave. Now, in retrospect, that does didn't necessarily matter, uh, just because of the fact that if he did T-Wave me, then I would have gone for Ice Shard, and then I would have had to play around more para hacks, but... Uh, Latias had to break through Para as well to get that Psychic off in week one. But, uh, yeah, no, this is, uh, I think this is over. I think this game is done. As, uh, it should be. I'm just reading what everybody's saying in the chat. It's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, is, like, Verlissify actually here? I don't think that's, that's his YouTube, uh, his, um, not his YouTube name, his, um, his, uh, showdown name. I'm gonna have to check later. Maybe it is. Who knows? Anyway, so, uh, yeah, uh, my screen is actually offset right now because I recorded, uh, differently this time around. Uh, I wonder if I can adjust that mid-video if I pause. Um, you know what, guys, I'm actually gonna pause because he's taking quite a while to make his, uh, his choice, so I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, he came back, uh, I tried to adjust my screen, didn't work, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to live with this, unfortunately, but, uh, this is fine. Uh, I'll just go for a Shadow Ball on this thing. If he's actually Scarfed, then he's Scarfed. There's nothing I can do about it. He's gonna get a nice punch off. He could freeze us. I mean, that's that's still a possibility. I'm not ruling that out, but... Um, Mega Deancey should be able to pull through if uh, if Latias can't, for whatever reason. Uh, Mintz just said Lottie wins. Uh, not if he's Scarf and freezes the Ice Punch. Yeah. Yeah. Because that can happen, guys. That can happen. Uh, he's not scarfed. He takes the Shadow ball, ball really well and goes for a knockoff. And if he has the, sh the Shadow Sneak, he has it. But again, I don't think it actually takes us out. We did lose our lefties, unfortunately. Uh, he's a full Spadef variant. Um, so I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here. And I don't think any move that Manectric can go for can actually knock me out. So I'm just actually going to test that. Uh, Manectric. I mean, we still have a bunch of stuff in the back. It's fine. Mega Manectric. Uh, HP Ice at plus one Spadef. Uh, yeah, it's not enough to take us out. Unless he has the Shadow Sneak right now. 
He actually has it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, Latias is uh, able to uh, to live that. Unfortunately, though, uh, it won't be able to live the next move. Whatever Mega Manectric decides to go for. So. Again, I, st I still think Mega Deancey wins here because he can't switch in his Slowbro, and then I just get the knockoff with Weavile, so I'll just go for uh, for the Psychic right here. I didn't expect his uh, Galley to be max spit F. That was actually really good. Um, I probably should have gone for the sub on the um, on the Fortress, knowing that it can only break my sub with uh, Gyro Ball. He would have probably just spammed it and ended up stalling me out, so maybe it wasn't the best play. But uh, as Manectric decides to come out, knocks me out with Thunderbolt. Very good. All right, and now I just want to calc something. What if you're modest? Do you actually take out Deancey? Mega Deancey. Um, let's just say standard OU offensive, but I want to just give this thing 32 HP EVs. Uh, Thunderbolt fails to knock us out unless he gets a crit or a para. So, and para full para of course. So we should be good. Uh, we come in at 88, right? Yeah, okay. So it's gonna be a 3-0 instead of being uh, the amount that I wanted it to be, uh, but that's fine. We'll just go for the moon blast here. Uh, we won't get a 5-0, but we will get a 3-0. Uh, I should have probably expected specially defensive Gallade for the Latias. It didn't make much sense against the rest of the team though. Uh, they couldn't switch into Entei, couldn't switch into Weavile, so. My offensive threats, my actual offensive threats. So it's a little bit weird, but uh, Modest Manectric cannot take us out right here. And uh, we will be able to go for the Moon Blast and follow it up with a Moon Blast on the Sloking. With the Burn, it should not be able to stall us out, even if it's Max Spadef, because we are Modest ourselves. Slow King. He can't switch it in right now, so he has to take whatever hit I'm going for. Let's just say he's an OU Assault Vest Pivot with a lot of special defense for some reason. Um, actually, you can take Moon Blasts. Okay, so he goes for Volt Switch. He switches out into his uh, into his Slow King right here. We are able to get the special attack drop, and um, hmm. Well, this just became very interesting. Let's see. I gotta go for Moon Blast again. I could actually still lose this if his uh, if his Manectric is rocking the HP Grass. I have to calc how much Adamant Weavile's uh, Life Orb. Uh, Adamant Weavile's Ice Shard does to Manectric. Mega Manectric, OU Special Attacker. Ice Shard, not this Weavile, sorry. Weavile Weasley. Ice Shard does a lot. Uh, no, not a lot. It doesn't do a lot. Uh oh. Wait, did he just switch again? Oh no, he let his Slow King go down. Okay. Alright. Um, I don't want to keep this thing for no reason. When. Our Seismitoad could definitely... Hold on, let me let me just calc something real quick, guys. Sorry about this, but... Hidden Power Grass. To our Seismitoad. Seismitoad. Johnson. Without the Rindo. 96 max, 82 min. We're at 80. So we can't take it. We cannot take it. Unfortunately. If he's rocking the HP Grass, I think he actually still wins. Because... Well, unless he's overheating, I predict it. And I switch into my Primeape. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what he does. I'm curious. Um... If he has HP Grass, yes he does. Unfortunately, we are not Scarfed uh, Primeape, so maybe I should have run that <laughs> instead. We can definitely still lose this, guys. This is very, very tense. I don't know what's going to happen right here. He has HP water. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's still having fun, and so am I. You know what? If we lose this, we lose. What do you want? Um, I wasn't expecting specially defensive Gallade at all. Um, probably should have EV'd my, uh, my Latias to be able to, um, to take Gyro Balls a little bit better from an attack invested, uh, well, not even attack invested, I mean, just the fact that it wasn't calcing with zero IVs, I probably should have double checked that and triple checked that, but we are going to lose our Deancey right here, I think, um, which is, what, what ended up taking out, uh, I think, 
Latias got two kills, and the Ansi got one. Entei got one, and Seismitoad got one. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it looks like right now. Uh, if he has the HP Grass, he does potentially win. Um, he has to do everything perfectly. Uh, that's what he's saying in the chat. He has to make sure he's doing everything perfectly. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, I don't know why you wouldn't just go for the um, for the Thunderbolt right here if you have it. If I am Scarf Primeape though, he does lose. So he goes to the T Bolt right there. I don't think we have another course of action but to go into Seismitoad right here. So we have to test if this thing actually has HP Grass, I think. Um, yeah, we'll go into that first. And then uh, hope that Weavile can, can do something in response to this. But um, I'm just going to go for the Earth Power. He has the Eden Power Grass. He's able to knock us out. And I think Thunderbolt does take out our Primeape. Uh, Primeape, where's Jake? Yep, it does. And, uh, I think that's gonna be the end of the game. We actually lost this, because I let him get up- No, not even because I let him get up rocks, just because I misplayed with the, um, with the Latias, not expecting a specially defensive Gallade. That was really unfortunate. Oh man. Latias could've walled this thing forever. Yeah. Yeah, I think we lose, guys. Because two overheats still takes out Weavile. What can I even do to this? Hold on a second, what does... What does Wattmill Berry actually do? <laughs> like, does it do anything for me? Other than being a uh, natural gift fire? Wattmill... I can't believe I got super hyped and still ended up losing. This is crazy. Uh, cannot be eaten, so it doesn't have any effect. Uh, hold on a second. Weavile. Okay, if he has the overheat, if he has the overheat over the flamethrower, I can still win this. Um, because Primeape can take a Thunderbolt after. So I need to check Weavile. Flamethrower knocks us out after rocks. But this is cal the ice shard damage right here is calced with um, with the Intimidate drop, which I'm not going to have. Put it without Intimidate. Okay, hold on. Hold on, we could still... Pull this out if he has the overheat. Um, because Thunderbolt can't actually knock us out if he's timid. So, I have to go for the Ice Shard right here. And really hope that he hits us with an overheat right now. Because then we can win. Please, Ben. Please have overheat over Flamethrower right now. Please. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on. And I even let him get up rocks. Wow, this is crazy. Because if he has if he has flamethrower, then he wouldn't have been able to knock us out right here if rocks weren't up. It would have done nearly enough, but not if he's timid. Man. Oh, why is this so long? This is 38 minutes. <laughs> Come on, Weavile. I don't know. Crit the ice shard. How much does it actually do? Like the 29 to 34. So it's still not enough. Even if I crit it, please go for overheat. Please go for overheat. Oh, come on. Come on. Click overheat. Please. Oh, I need two ice shards. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, 29 plus 29 is 58. Yeah, it's enough, unless he has HP investment. I mean, my only chance anyway is if I get big damage off on this thing, right? How much does knockoff do? 47 to 55? Yeah, I think that's my better play. Definitely. He has overheat! Oh my god! No way! Do we still win this? 70%! We can take the Thunderbolt! Even from Modest! I think, I th I'm pretty sure, hold on, Primeape, Primeape, are you about to win me the game? Primeape, at minus two, you can do it, yes you can, yes you can, yes you can, oh my god, Primeape, hit close combat, Primeape, Jake, let's go, let's go, oh my god, don't crit me, 
Please, Ben, don't crit me! Don't crit again! Please, I need this! I need this win! To stay in the playoff race! Hit Thunderbolt, man! No! 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 Are we serious right now? Why do I keep getting hacked out? I won that game! Cause he was packing overheat over flamethrower! Come on! Oh! Oh my god, guy! We, we had such solid prep! We did everything in our power to win! He had the perfect Galad set, Galad set, but we actually managed to pull it back because he had overheat over flamethrower, and I still lost to another fucking crit! I am so angry right now. I am so... I can't even speak English. Like, you have no idea. This is the third time. This is insane. I shouldn't be this low on the power rankings because of this crap. Guys, I'm going to stop this recording before I yell in your ears anymore. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed me yelling like a buffoon, hit a like, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week. Be sure to catch the next Team Builder, and ciao. Hey guys, uh, me again. I'm still not gone. Um, I just wanted to apologize for yelling in your ears, first of all. Uh, secondly, I uh, just wanted to say that... Um, well, good game to, to Ben. Um, he he played it right at the end game. He did everything that he could. He got the crit. That's not his fault. Uh, just like the Entei crit wasn't my fault. But um, like I'm not dropping out of the league or anything. <laughs> if that's what you guys are thinking, it's just uh, I wanted to address the fact that uh, one uh, one in three is not uh, over. It's uh, we're not out of the playoff race yet. Uh, we can still pull this back. And I fully intend to. Uh, I'm not giving up. And just, um, man, I'm really tired of Showdown and the fact that he keeps messing me up uh, on my end games. Uh, I think that I should have played around the uh, Salt Vested Gallade a little bit better. I started getting uh, a little too hyped on myself there at the end and um, thinking that I was just going to pull out a win when it turns out his Gallade uh, had. Probably the AV, I didn't even calculate yet, but I'm assuming that was a salt vest because it took it way too well. Um, so I could have set up a little more in front of the fortress. Could have also potentially packed the recover on uh, Latias instead of having the substitute, as that would have uh, allowed me to take his gyro balls. I packed substitute there specifically for lantern, and in case his fortress had toxic or anything had toxic, I just didn't want Lottie getting uh, paralyzed again or status in general, so I decided to, uh, to run that. Um, but we're, we're going to pull it back. Um, I'm going to be making probably another transaction this week. Um, there's a certain Pokemon on my team that I find myself not bringing to games, and it's uh, getting a little annoying. Um, I sh probably should have choice scarfed <laughs> the, uh, the Primeape. Uh, I would have saved a lot of differential, and we would have just uh, pulled out that game, but... That's uh, it's really unfortunate, um, and I could have gone into Deancey there and moonblasted the uh, the Slow King twice, lost my Deancey to the uh, Mega Manectric, and gone into Primeape and finished off the uh, Manectric. So we could have been two and two, but now we're one and three. And uh, again, I just want to apologize for for yelling and going insane there, but um, I get very emotional <laughs> with stuff like this. I mean, this is uh, basically the future of my channel. It's uh, whether I can actually perform in these leagues and. Showdown just keeps saying no, and uh, I now understand what Tom meant by absolutely hating Showdown. <laughs> uh, it feels like uh, the crit chance is like actually 12% and not 6.25 uh, sometimes, but I mean I'm sure it's it's set correctly. Um, that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, again, thank you uh, so much for watching this video. Uh, this has set me back a little bit because uh, I wanted to get the team builder out a little bit earlier but uh, I didn't have enough time to uh, actually render it, so I couldn't just upload it immediately after the battle. And I didn't even want to upload this battle, to be perfectly honest with you, because 
uh, at first anyway, because I, just, I was just like, I don't want to uh, post another loss, but yeah, that's it guys, uh, thanks again for watching, I uh, hope to see you guys next week, if you don't think I'm a scrub, and, uh, and I'm always losing, but uh, every team, every uh, league needs a Steve, so I guess I'm the Steve for now, but we'll pull it back, catch you guys later.